Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, I'm going to be doing this nice purple, like smoky eye, um, just something more holiday-ish so that you guys can have um, to wear, say, to Christmas, New Year, something that you can have to wear for the holidays. Something that I've been loving recently. I've really, really been into this eye. I've been wearing it like every day. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and recreate it really quickly and, you know, give you guys a tutorial finally. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I want to also come on here and say thank you to everybody to who shared, liked, subscribed. Anybody that gave me support the first video, um, I definitely was not expecting that. I was even hesitant to post the video in the first place, but I'm very, very thankful for all of you guys who did share share it who give, gave me kudos on it I truly truly appreciate it it was it was very surprising but very exciting at the same time so I'm super excited to keep doing this for you at least once a week this week I got kind of caught up with work so I wasn't able to but I finally get back on here and do something at least for you guys even if it's just a small get ready with me so yeah I really appreciate it let me know what you guys want to keep seeing if you guys like this video subscribe like leave me a comment let me know that you watched it anything um, I truly do appreciate all the support and I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in my next video and now let's get started on the actual tutorial itself so to get started um, I already have my foundation and brows done because I'm in a bit of a rush so I had to hurry up and get ready so what I'm gonna do now I already primed my eyes with um, the 24 hour extend eyewear base by uh, Matt so now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my primer with the makeup geek by Manny at Miwe and I'm gonna use this middle shade here I believe that's beaches and cream just to set it so that my eyes don't move everywhere And I'm using a Morphe E30 brush to set everything. Make sure everything is nice and set. So that way when you apply your eyeshadow, everything is kind of in place. What I'm going to go ahead and do is grab a Morphe M511 brush and I'm going to go into this Morphe palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. I'm not too sure that it's available anymore, but if you have any really purpley toned eyeshadow palettes, this will work just as well. So the first shade that I'm going to go into just to start a transition shade is going to be this one right here. So it's just this really pretty light purple mauve color. Um, and I'm just going to work that right in the areas of the crease with this Morphe um, brush here. Right. <laughs> and then you're just gonna do the same thing on the other side, just blend that into your crease along with your eyes. That way you'll get a nice transition shade for all the darker colors that we're gonna go ahead and You really don't need that much product, but I like for the transition shade to really be in there so when these dark colors come in, it all blends out how I want it. Now that we have the transition shade set, so then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with a Morphe, um, this one doesn't have a number. This one I got in my monthly Morphe brush package thing that I'm subscribed to, so I'm not too sure what number this is, but it's just a nice blending brush. And we're going to go into both of these shades here on this Jaclyn Hill palette still. So just really picking up both. And then I'm going to go ahead and work that in to the crease. Mind you, I do have pretty hooded eyelids. Like one is pretty defined and the other one's just a hot mess. So if it looks a little different, that's why. So really just working this on the outer crease along. Then doing the same for the other eye, just starting it off on the outer crease and then really blending it up. And my face is that I make um, while doing my eyes other 
Um, so you really see that it kind of gave it a little bit more dimension. So I'm really just packing it in there just to get it a little bit darker just because it is going to be followed with a smoky look. So you definitely want this to be as dark as possible. So that way the other colors kind of grab better. And then now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a Morphe M330 brush and just kind of blend that out. This is, brush has nothing on it. It's just a blending brush. So I'm just going to run it over everything so it gives it a nice. So you can really see that everything's starting to be blended out there. So everything is blended. Cannot leave the house with unblended eyeshadow. Just saying. So that pretty much is the outer part of it. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the glitter or the main color, I should say. Still using this Morphe a Jaclyn Hill's favorites. I'm gonna go into this shade right here as you can see i've already dipped into it a couple times but i'm going to use the shade to uh, put on my lid so so i'm just going to spray this morphe m167 with fix plus just spray it twice and then we'll go ahead and dip into that purple color and now we'll just sorry i need a smaller mirror too see what i'm doing and then we'll just kind of pat that on on the part And you wanna, you don't really wanna swipe when you're doing a color like that. You more so just wanna pack, like just press and pack. So what I do, but for this eye specifically, um, I kind of have to create the crease there by packing and swiping this way because this one is a little bit more hooded than my other eye. So, yeah. until it you know, gets to what you want it to be. Um, then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pick up that same Morphe gunmetal brush and go into those darker colors that we used earlier and really just kind of buff out the lid color along with deepen it up a little bit more. But it blends out that crease and then it gives it a little bit more dimension um, and it deepens up that dark color that just kind of went away with applying that glitter color. Yeah, definitely. And then you just go over with a blending brush and just really buff everything out. And then I just feel like I want some more light shades on this top part so i'm just gonna go over this part right here really just put some shadow let's see there yeah so now what i'm gonna do is highlight um the inner corners of my eye um i'm gonna use the same makeup geek palette and i'm gonna use the shade artemis um it's this pretty frosty color that i say i use all the time which i honestly do and I'm just going to pat that right dab center. Highlighting color. And then on the... So you can see it really cleans it up along with giving a nice highlight. If you went too high up on the the high points of your or your brow bone um then you can really use that highlighting color or any frosty color to kind of fix that and i'm just going to blend those colors together and so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is my eyeliner so my eyeliner 
typically is not that hard, but sometimes I make it hard on myself. I'm not gonna go for thick winged liner just because I really want the purple to be the the type of look or I really want the purple to be more um, the focus on the eye. So I'm just gonna do a quick winged liner. I really just kind of more so get the outline of so I really just have the outline and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the liner there and I'm using the Kat Von D tattoo liner if I didn't mention that already So now what I'm going to do to clean up this wing liner, just to really sharpen that wing, I'm going to go ahead and get um, concealer. So I'm going to use my NC20 Mac Select, or I'm going to use the Mac Select cover up in NC20 and the Morphe M161-16 brush. It's a little angled brush there, I don't know if you can see it, kind of see it. Um, it's that little brush. So it's just gonna really clean up the wing, give it that more sharp effect. That way everything looks kind of clean cut. Uh, don't go there. So then I'm just really going to sharpen the wing here. I'm gonna blend that downwards and right now I'm gonna go in with my concealer to highlight and contour anyways so I'll blend that out as soon as I start doing that I just want to do the same thing for the other eye and that's why I don't really for the line itself the actual wing I don't really get too crazy if that gets messed up because I can just go in and clean it up with concealer versus the actual So that's that. So I just have that cleaned up. So now I'll go ahead and go into my um, highlighting and so what I'm gonna go ahead and use is the matte select cover up again in NW25. And I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my under eyes. For the concealer, I typically like to leave it like down here a little bit, a little bit more underneath my eyes than, or not all the way up on my eyes. That way it doesn't look cakey. So I'm just gonna, just going to go ahead and line that right here kind of going into that concealer that I already have and then just with that same applicator just bringing it down so that way it kind of gives a good highlight and then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and blend this all out So really just um, dabbing everything into into my skin here so there's really no way of doing it it's just dabbing it all in with the beauty blender and really making sure you blend everything good um, what I like to do is go back and forth this way still patting not swiping you always want to pat so you're gonna just pat 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 and then um, work your way up there so just really blending everything together
So I have my concealer on. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with uh, the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm going to go into the process of setting it and baking. So just pat a little bit in the lid and then dip my beauty blender in there. Get a pretty generous, oh, almost dropped that. Get a pretty generous amount and then just kind of press it on the spots where I have concealer just to set it and then more so bake. So now I have my under eyes set, so at least that's not going to. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade C5. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Well, that's finished. I know it lasts a little bit longer than just foundation and setting powder. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to take this middle shade right here and a Morphe E4 brush and just go ahead and start contouring. You know, do that little contour face and I'll take it right here underneath the apples of my of my cheeks and just really buff it up. I really like this brush for contouring just because so the other day it had cracked so I'm just gonna go in as well with that bronzer and just really deepen up this contour. And it's okay if it's a little bit messy you can we're gonna clean it up with baking anyways. Just do it on the I'm gonna go ahead and take that same Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder and we'll go ahead and clean up this contour. So now what I like to do is just take it right underneath and just clean it up so that I get a nice sharp contour. So doing the same thing on both sides, just really cleaning up that contour. Um, so I can have a nice sharp and then what I'm also going to do um, I look crazy doing this but um, I like to put translucent powder right here so that way um, where I have my smile lines I smile a lot so I tend to get those fine lines right there or my makeup cracks so I like to set this part with translucent powder and just let it bake as I'm doing the rest of my makeup along with my chin. You really want to set your chin because if you don't, um, when you touch your face, I know for me personally, I put my hand right here on my face a lot. So that part tends to go away if I keep touching it. So ho, ho, ho. <laughs> um, yeah, I look ridiculous doing this, but I tell you when your makeup stays all day and night, You'll be like, yeah, I look crazy, but my makeup's still on bleak, so, yeah. And so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is finish up my eyes. So I'm um, coming back to mascara. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This personally is my favorite, my ride or die. I've tried other ones. It just doesn't work. I have um, very tiny, straight eyelashes. So this one really gets up in there, makes them longer, fuller. Um, even though I wear falsies, I still like to coat my lashes beforehand and then go in with um, my falsies just so they can grip onto something a little bit more than just the eyelash glue. So just putting on one coat of mascara, nothing too heavy since like I said, I'm going to go in with falsies anyways. Just give it that moment to dry and then I'm going to go ahead and put on some Anastasia. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Um, 
I really love this brow gel so much. It works so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows. So I like to do this afterwards since I'm, I put a lot of product above my brows before. I don't want it to look all powdery. So as you can see there, it just sets everything very nicely, keeps them in place all day. And then I just have this BH Cosmetics Bully. Um, not sure what number it is, but Then brush it up, really work it in there so that it blends the product together along with your um, natural hairs. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into um, eyelashes. I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess. They're already out, so they're not in the box all pretty. Um, they look like this, very wispy, pretty eyelashes. I tend to use my eyelashes. So now I'm going into, um, I'm going to use Duo Eyelash Adhesive and some tweezers. And some tweezers, that's really all you need to put on falsies, very easy. I got used to putting on falsies when I was younger because I had, again, very small, short, straight eyelashes to it now. Once you're used to it, it gets easier, but I know doing it for the first time, it takes practice. <laughs> I like to take off, since I reuse my eyelashes, I like to take off the glue so there's not a big old band full of glue on my eyelashes. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some glue on these eyelashes and pop them on really want to focus the glue too on the ends and the inner corner because those are typically spots where your eyes get watery so if your eyes are watery and there's not a lot of glue right there they're more than likely to start to popping off so now what we'll go ahead and do is just really what i like to do is look down and then place my eyelashes and then just kind of pinch them together with my real eyelash Just really placing it where you, where it fits your eye the most. And if the eyelashes don't fit you um, straight out of the box, just trim the outer end of the lash versus the inner corner. Otherwise, you will mess up those lashes. Because the inner ones tend to be tapered more so to go in. And if you cut the inner part, it's just going to mess it all up. So there I have my eyelashes. Yeah, really easy process putting on eyelashes. Um, once you get used to them, they're really, really not that bad to put on. I'll go ahead and do, so I'll take my shade and light palette again and just to highlight that part, just because it kind of took away from the concealer. I'm going to use the these two shades right here, so I'll use this one and this one here, and just kind of mix those two together, and then just place it right underneath my eye, just to highlight um, 
the under eyes. I really like that powder because it's so creamy. So now. And then now what I'm going to go ahead and do is my highlight. Now with my highlight, I'm going to be taking the What's Up um, Highlight by Benefit. I'm just going to take the cream part of the product and just take that on the high line there. And then we're going to blend that out. So there's a nice line. So your ring finger, you're just going to go ahead and blend that out so that it's not such a harsh line. So I'm just using my ring finger, blending it upwards. And then now I'm going to go in with a powdered highlight. So when you do cream highlights, you can leave it as is, or you can go in with a powder highlighter, which I personally like doing better. And I'm going to use Champagne Pop and a Morphe M601 brush and just apply that where I put that cream highlighter. See, it picks it up a lot more and it emphasizes it more than it emphasizes that cream highlighter. So now that highlight is very cool. I, I get so excited with my highlights, I'm sorry. So now to um, finish up the eyes, I'm going to go back into that Morphe Jaclyn Hale favorites and I'm going to take those two dark shades that we use, so these two purpley colors and just kind of mix both of them with a Morphe M508 brush and I'm just going to place this underneath the eye right at the And then you see there, it kind of gives it more so that pop of purple that we're looking for. And it's not just like a straight line. And I'm going to go in with this brush that I have. I don't know the name. It doesn't have, or it doesn't have one. And then just to make sure that any fallout gets wiped away. And then from there, I'm going to go into my mascara. So using the same perversion mascara and just coat those lashes underneath. So there you see really put it all together. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply blush just to mix that contour and highlight and really blend it out together. This is going to be Max um, Blush Baby and just a BH Cosmetics um, contour powder brush. And just put it on the apples of the cheek. I like to do that face so that it really puts it on those points of my cheeks. all highlight, it's all blended nicely. So just to make sure that there's no eyelash glue showing, I'm just going to go ahead and go over where I put the band of the eyelash just to also deepen the eyeliner a little bit just because with all the powders going around, kind of fades it a little bit. deepens it up a bit and then now going into going back into my Manny MUA by Makeup Geek palette with that frosty white color I'm just gonna um, accentuate that inner corner highlight a bit just because again with all the powders and all of the blending kind of takes it away but I really like it to be a nice inner corner highlight I'm just putting it on and then just blending it out so it's not just like a patch of glitter. So you can really see, you kind of see how it really brightens that inner corner part of your eye up. And then I'm going to use that same brush to highlight my Cupid's bow. So 
So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is line my lips. I'm using Max sub Subculture until I need more of this, but whatever. And I just went ahead and lined my lips, and now I'm going to go in with Max uh, Cherish. It's this nice, pretty nude color. And now I'm just going to. So that is the completed look. So it's really a nice purple look. And this has been my go to. I tried it a couple days ago, and I've really been just wearing it every day. I love it. It's just such a nice smoky eye with, you know, not too much color. It's really easy and it's very, very level friendly. So it, you don't have to be an expert to do it. It's really, really easy. Just any purple that you have, mix them together from lightest to deepest and you'll be good. So it's really why I wanted to come on and create this one as my first look just because it has been what I've been wearing lately. And yeah, so um, that's that. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. and. So I went ahead and did my hair and that is now the finished look so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Please let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I know the holidays are coming around so any holiday inspired looks that you guys want me to create just let me know. I'll be more than willing to record them and once again I appreciate all the support. I look forward to uh, my next video with you guys and we'll see you soon.